Today, I will be explaining large language models like GPT-4. Large language models are a type of artificial intelligence system that use deep learning techniques to understand, generate, and manipulate human language. LLMs have been revolutionary in natural language processing tasks, such as machine translation, text summarization, and question answering. Here is a detailed explanation of how LLMs work. Foundations. LLMs are based on artificial neural networks, which are inspired by the human brain's structure and function. ANDs consist of layers of interconnected neurons or nodes that process and transmit information. Architecture. The core architecture of LLMs is the transformer, introduced by Vaswani et al. in 2017. Transformers use self-attention mechanisms, allowing the model to weigh the importance of different input tokens relative to each other. This enables the model to capture long-range dependencies and relationships within the text. Pre-training. LLMs are pre-trained on vast amounts of text data, such as books, articles, and websites. During pre-training, the model learns to predict the next word in a sentence, given the context of the previous words. This is known as masked language modeling. The model learns by adjusting its weights and biases to minimize the difference between its predictions and the actual target words. Fine-tuning. After pre-training, LLMs can be fine-tuned on specific tasks, such as sentiment analysis or machine translation. Fine-tuning involves training the model on a smaller data set with labeled examples relevant to the target task. The model's weights are updated to minimize the loss function for the specific task. Tokenization. LLMs process text by breaking it into smaller units called tokens, which can be words, subwords, or characters. Tokenization enables the model to handle different languages and adapt to new words or phrases. Embeddings. Tokens are converted into numerical representations called embeddings, which are high-dimensional vectors. Embeddings enable the model to process text and identify patterns and relationships within the data. Self-attention. In the transformer architecture, Self-attention mechanisms allow the model to weigh the importance of each token in the input sequence relative to other tokens. This is achieved by computing attention scores for each token pair, which are then used to create a weighted sum of the input embeddings. Positional encoding. Since the transformer architecture doesn't have inherent knowledge of the order of input tokens, positional encoding is used to provide information about the position of each token within the sequence. This is done by adding a vector representing the position of each token to its corresponding embedding. Layers and heads. The transformer architecture consists of multiple layers, each with multiple attention heads. Each attention head processes the input independently, allowing the model to learn different aspects of the input data. The outputs of the attention heads are concatenated and passed through a feed-forward neural network. Decoding. In generation tasks, such as translation or summarization, LLMs use a decoding process to generate output text. The decoding process is often auto-regressive, meaning the model generates one token at a time, conditioning its next prediction on the previously generated tokens. LLMs have become a powerful tool in NLP, enabling many applications and achieving state-of-the-art performance on various tasks. However, they also come with challenges, such as large computational requirements, potential biases in the training data, and a lack of interpretability.